Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and I hope you all are having yourselves a wonderful first full week of July. Over at Bungie, they're doing some major celebrating. Of course, yesterday was July 7th, Bungie Day. And while usually that day is filled with activities and celebrations, this time around, it wasn't so much filled with news. As this week's issue of the Bungie Weekly blog, This Week at Bungie, was notoriously light on actual news. But there was at least one thing that I did kind of want to talk about in a very short video here, because it has something to do with a, a problem that's been going on basically since the season went live. But first things first, if you haven't already, throw a happy Bungie day to your local favorite Bungie social media account. As the seventh day of the seventh month is treated as a Bungie celebration of sorts. Last year is when they unveiled a lot of the 30th anniversary stuff. And in addition to some of the internal celebrations Bungie's having in-house, they're also running a few fashion contests, including the IRL Shreds of Light, where Bungie is featuring people who are dressing up as some of their favorite Destiny characters, as well as Cosplay Cosmodrome, where Bungie's partnering with talented cosplayers from around the world to show off some of the best of the best cosplays out there, including a few ridiculously good Savathun cosplays. Seriously, if you haven't seen some of these, you absolutely need to check them out. Of course, I'll have links to all of this down in the description box below. But beyond that, a few of you players out there might have noticed a brand new emblem being added to your collection titled Humanity's Chosen. Well, if you don't really understand why exactly you got this emote, Bungie's handing this out to a select few players. And their reasoning why is based on several things. It's not tied directly to a Bungie store purchase or a specific donation, but more so acts of kindness done in-game. These actions can range from looking out for new lights to being a positive voice in the community at large. So if you happen to notice this emblem in your collections now, know that you got it specifically for being awesome. But alright, with all that being said, let's get into some of the bigger stuff. There are, of course, other donations and charities going on right now, and if you'd like more information about that, of course, there is a link to the TWAB down in the description box below. But earlier this season, players noticed an issue where there was a missing Artifice armor slot. This became a pretty major problem for people out there who had specified their builds towards completing that upper tier content and getting that artifice armor. Bungie did initially address the issue, but it only kind of fixed it for players who hadn't yet logged in for the season. Unfortunately, for players who had already logged into the current season and had lost their artifice armor sockets, a second, trickier fix is currently in the works and it's going to require some additional time. And Bungie even gave us an explanation for why they think this is happening. Essentially, if you're somebody who had artifice armor before the start of the season, if you had, say, an artifact mod in that artifice armor slot, which of course you know is what the artifice slot is used for, if that was a seasonal artifact mod, then when the season rolls over and that mod no longer was available, their internal code basically attempted to resolve that by saying, oh, well, this seasonal mod is no longer available, so this slot that it's tied into is also no longer available. Bungie is currently working on a fix for this, and essentially what they're going to do is write a script to comb through all characters on all accounts to reinitialize specific components that make up these particular armor items, thus restoring all of those lost sockets. Essentially, they're going to replace the artifice armor that was in those artifice armor mod slots with a base empty mod space. But since they essentially have to do this for every player on every account, you can imagine that's probably going to take some time to do. But they wanted to give us an update on what exactly is going on with the artifice armor mod slot issue. And I for one appreciate getting the heads up. But alright Guardians, there we go. Now you're as up to date as I am on what's going on with the Artifice mod situation. Hopefully we can get that fix out soon. But that's the news and those are my thoughts. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. I'm out for now. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.